like you ever felt. Are you listening? What's up guys, back here with another video. I'm going to kind of show you and walk you through stuff that I do kind of every day during the summer or when I'm not actually in the classroom teaching as far as coaching and stuff. So number one on the priority list today, cleaning the locker room and weight room. It's pretty messy as far as dirt and stuff like that. But I've got a solution. Just got a new vacuum. We're going to finish putting that together and then we are going to commence to using it and breaking it in. Uh, as dirty as this place gets, after game nights, practices, and stuff like that, I don't expect this vacuum to last too long, to be honest with you. So, but let's get that together and get started. Look at this. Look at that. That's from about a maybe a third of the weight room. That's disgusting. This is carpet, but normally we sweep it and we don't really we don't really have a vacuum, so we don't really get a deep thorough clean on the carpet. And so that is what we're doing today. That's 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 horrible. So change of plans real fast. Uh I'm hoping that it's gonna rain here in a little while. And so I want to go ahead and cut the game field, practice field, and kind of get that going. Um, first of all, we've got to blow off the lawnmower with all the grass clippings that's been cut with, Lord knows what kind of grass, kind of keep the seeds off of the field and whatnot, but uh, keep that from growing up onto the game field. So we're gonna blow it off, maybe go get some gas, get started on cutting fields real fast before it rains. Here we go. So I got the practice field and game field. As you can see, I got it cut. I'm helping Coach Sims now with the sprinklers, trying to figure that out and get these to pop up and more to the field. Hadn't rained in about three weeks, so it's really dry. So we got to pop these sprinklers up real fast. Like that. Got to help them. That one's crooked. All right, things leaning like that. These two are moving. That was moving. That one don't look like it's come up all the way though. This is the chaos that ensues when uh, coaches get to talking, but uh, 
talk to you while I race this. I'm fixing to put in a quick workout and hopefully one that doesn't take more than 10, 15 minutes. I'm gonna do a 40, 30, 20, 10, uh, and I'll explain that a little bit more when I get closer to that. But I'm put workout in and then I'm gonna go home and end my day. That's gonna be it. So let me think of a workout real quick and I'll show you what I'm talking about and uh, I'm gonna do for it. So got my workout wrote up. Shouldn't take too long, hopefully not. Um, I always think that and then of course I end up dying and suffering, but this is the workout I'm gonna be doing today. All right, this is a CrossFit workout. We're gonna start out with 40 V-ups work the abs 30 push-ups um 20 goblet squats holding a 45 pound dumbbell and uh and then end up with 10 strict pull-ups all right and that means no kipping no rocking trying to use momentum that is all upper body pull and so um, um that's gonna take a little while because i'm i can do like two push two or three pull-ups without coming down and then after the push-ups though, that'll be tough. But that's what I'm gonna do today, so let's get started. We got to, um, I forgot to talk to you about what I'm gonna do for cardio. I'm gonna go outside. I'm gonna run five half gassers this time. Started out with three. I did another workout that I didn't record. I've actually done two uh, that I have not recorded, but I'm just trying to maintain and kind of keep in shape and do whatever. I ran yesterday. Running is getting a little easier, so I'm gonna up it to five half gassers. I'm gonna try and push up the intensity and run a little faster and harder to get better. So let's get started with this workout. That hurt. The pull-ups were way worse than I thought they would be. But that was good. I mean, I had to do singles every time. I couldn't even, I didn't want to attempt a double to do two at a time. Woo! The V-ups hurt a lot worse than I thought. When I got to about 25, I was hurting. But uh, we got it done. It probably took about five minutes or so. Maybe a little bit more, maybe about seven minutes. Cause I had to start resting on this pull ups. Those pull ups whooped my butt. But now we gotta go run. So just shut up and do it. Let's go. So real quick, I wanted to talk about what supplements I use. Um, I don't do pre-workout. I don't like it. I've tried it. Uh, <clears throat> I know several people that do like it and use it almost every time they go to the gym or do kind of any kind of exercise or whatever. I don't like it. I don't like the way it make me, makes me feel. Um, I have a hard time going to sleep if I take it too late. And so I just don't. Uh, I do use protein. This is the brand that I use, Progenix. Uh, the flavor is Loco Mocha. It is delicious. Uh, it is by far, I've probably tried over 10 brands in my life through high school, college, and now just trying to find something that I liked and worked and stuff for me. This is by far the best tasting I've ever tried. I can do this with water, milk, soy milk, whatever, and it's gonna taste pretty much the same regardless of whatever I put in it. A lot of times I had to use milk just to kind of make a milkshake out of it and get a little flavor to it. Uh, but like I said, I can do this with water. It tastes like a cold, hot chocolate. That's what it tastes like. It tastes chocolate, a little bit of a mocha, coffee taste, um, and it's cold. I mean, it's, it's really good, but it is expensive. Um, but I have seen good results. I've used it before and uh, I like it. I'll, if you're looking for something that tastes good, try Progenix, it's got good stuff. Well, that concludes my day. I've done a lot today. Cut two fields, worked out, went over some football stuff and cleaned. So it was a busy day. And uh, I'm gonna do a lot more of it tomorrow. So, 
Stay tuned. Have you ever felt? Are you listening?